to get started on making our kimchi pancakes we're first going to start by making the batter by adding in three fourths cups of regular plain flour along with a tablespoon of cornstarch then we're going to get the juice from the kimchi to a measuring cup we're going to add in half a cup of juice we're going to mix this in with the flour and cornstarch and a little bit of salt now we're gonna add, once that's all incorporated, we're gonna add in a good amount of the actual kimchi. And then we're also gonna add in some green onions, chopped fresh green onions. If you want it to be slightly spicy, you can add chili flakes here, but that is completely optional. Okay, so now moving on to our dipping sauce, we're gonna be adding in some soy sauce, rice wine vinegar, some sesame oil, maple syrup and I also added some sesame seeds just for some extra flavor now I'm pouring in the batter into the pan and we're gonna let this cook on both sides until it's like very nicely cooked and then you can flip it I thought that flipping it with one spatula was a little bit hard so I put it onto a plate and then from the plate I flipped it over and this seemed like a very easy tactic for me and you can see I only flipped it once it was nice and golden orange or a little bit crispy on the outside you don't want it to be too soft otherwise it won't really be the right consistency and it'll be kind of raw on the inside so this took about 10 or so minutes to cook I think like five on each side could be longer depending on how high heat you're using make sure you use a good amount of oil too in your pan when you're cooking it just so it doesn't stick and to also use a non-stick pan this is going to help you a lot so now i'm just cutting it into pieces i'm going to serve it with my dipping sauce and we're done this recipe is super easy super flavorful and i hope you give it a try thank you